saying we're not going to get in a position like that again. Okay. And that was some of the wins against France in that last few minutes yeah. when they win all those phases because they're not going to lose it. But Eddie, Eddie, well, we think he can walk New Zealand in water. The so. most lethal, <laughs> New Zealand the most lethal the 10 minutes after half time. And so Ireland need to keep them at bay as well. Yeah, well, well warned, Brent, because uh, <laughs> it's just about to take place. I'll hand it back to you, Donald and Hugh. Bring it home. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, bracing ourselves for the second half here. If it's anything like the first 40 minutes, Donald. I mean, an incredible test match, and you know, obviously, people you sometimes use the word friendly today, but on the evidence of that first 40 minutes there, both teams giving absolutely yeah. everything to go in this match. Yeah, I mean, they're just not giving an inch, but uh, I agree with Eddie. I think that the physicality that Ireland are bringing to each and every contact, the pressure, the sustained okay, pressure that they're putting on New Zealand. New Zealand look rattled going down the tunnel at half time. They've had a chance to recharge the batteries, have a look at things. Opening 10 minutes here are going to be crucial. Johnny Sexton gets us back underway for the second half, and again, Ireland getting up quickly and putting pressure on New Zealand. This time, the All Blacks first to react. Oh, just hold your own, hold it. Reid calling for it. I'm sure Hansen would have had a lot to say in the dressing room at half time for New Zealand. Equally, Joe Schmidt, more of the same Ireland. Can they keep it going for 80 minutes, though? The intensity, the fitness levels of the players, and the work rate that they put in, that came off Rob Kearney. First one by Black, then by but Green. The first one was off New Zealand. Which means first by Ireland black, then by Green will have a scrum. Yeah, and uh, Scott Barrett, the one there, making a bit of a nuisance of himself. That's Brilliant restart black, from yeah, Ireland. Yeah, they had won 14. it initially in the air, just went loose, and Barrett threw himself on the ground. You just see Barrett here getting a hand to it. First touch, definitely off him. So oh, just come a little bit away to the left. Put into the you. Irish scrum and uh, again, great chase stability. there from Stockdale. Just couldn't control the ball. Really important now that, that Ireland front row can continue that dominance. Keep putting the pressure on uh, Tui Nukeafe there from tight furlong. Had such a brilliant series with the Lions last year. He just loves playing against New Zealand. Did you hear CJ Stander there of what he wants with the team? Find. Big start with a word in between that I'm not allowed to repeat. But <laughs> they want to put down a marker here. First scrum in the second half. Absolutely. Rock solid at least on your own ball. Look at it. New Zealand trying green, to get a green, green. to no avail. Ireland dominating, oh, and then CJ Stander there to Marmion. Switches the play back to Sexton, in behind to Aki. Trying to get away from the first tackle. In fairness, I think it was good who, were, who made that hit. And then the ball oh. just loses from the hands of Peter Armani. Goes forward. No advantage, your scrum. And New Zealand get the scrum both on their They're both on their feet, having a yeah, grapple Peter for Peter Armani scrum, just ball. unable to control Bazi that ball, but again... To the loser of Ireland. To put his elbow up, he clearly pulling down the, the opponent. Yeah, just uh, I, yeah. Sorry, I didn't a message coming in there. Ball came away almost instantly. I think it's in relation to the one of the oh, New Zealand props sorry, scrummaging. Sorry. Just work that left arm, please. I think it was Matthew Raynal, the French Not assistant referee, away. said. <laughs> okay. that but, that's right, right, there's Carl Tudor Graf has basically it, it put has his hand over the top of Ty Furland and pushed him into the ground. I think yeah. that's what he was saying. But, well, let's have a look at his bind here now. Tuinuki Afe, number one, on the loose head side, up against Kite Furlong. He's got to get his hand up and over Furlong's back. Wayne Barnes positioning himself. Crouch. He's going to look at this scrum with forensic zeal. Aaron Bind. Smith would want him to get out of the way. Set. Well, Aaron's going to go after them here. They've been so dominant in the scrum. Smith delaying the feed. No surprise to see them get under quickly, but... Doesn't got a plan, and Barrett, all he can do is just oh, thump it down the pitch yeah. straight into the hands of Rob Carney. The space in behind now for Carney, but he decides to run it. The dummy sold up the river, and the step almost getting away from Aaron Smith. Yeah. Ireland with possession. New Zealand, even when they do have the ball at the moment, just seem unsure of themselves. It's so unlike what we've come to expect from the back-to-back -back world champions. A high ball for Aki to chase, and again... It's Mackenzie who comes for it, and Mackenzie who claims it in the air. Well, to be fair to Mackenzie, he's been imperious in the air. After a bit of a slow start against New Zealand in pouring rain at Twickenham last weekend, there were calls perhaps for Ben Smith to revert to his tried and trusted Forward position of full back, but they've stuck with Damien Mackenzie. Yeah. A little bit like the decision that Joe Schmidt had to make with Larmer and Rob Carney. That was blocked down, and an opportunity for Reid. He can't hold on to the ball. Handling mistakes from one of the best handling back row forwards in the game. Well. Jacob Stockdale, you could see what he was trying to do. 
with a smile on Reed's face. He just doesn't make those errors. No, he doesn't. Look at the pressure here. Blocks the kick. Oh, just there. You just want to be a bit square. Five, but Jack Goodhue, Jack, square. Jack right. Goodhue in support. And you know, this game is going to be decided by little incidents like that, a little mistake here or there. I mean, you watch Ritalik at every rock. He doesn't go in, he uses his long levers to try and put as much pressure as possible on the box kicking of the scrum half. So Kieran Marmion has been put under big Take pressure as well. Patience. Jacob Stockdale, if you want the epitome of a relieved face, that was that picture right there. Ireland again, a chance to Fine. impress their dominance in the scrum. Set! Pack weights, Ireland giving away 31 kilos in the pack, Donald. 890 versus New Zealand's 921. But they have blown them away. Well, it's not about the size, technique is everything when it comes to scrummaging. In Ireland, they're just so compact as a unit. That front row okay. now... There's too much movement, but the space is disappearing as well. We work on that space, please. But you can see... You can see it in the face of space, Kean Healy, of Rory Best, of Ty Furlong. Every Let's time there's a the scrum, is an issue into this they're game, just please. telling him, bring it on. Three front row formers getting ready to come in. Dane Coles, Tunga Fassi, Keep the space. and now Lala are on the sideline. That'll tell you how worn out the current front row must be. Yeah, five minutes into the second half. You, you normally don't see New Zealand making the changes that early. Their bench has been utilised in the past. 60 minutes, come on and finish the game. Now they have to come on and try and win it. Better by New Zealand. Yeah. Much better by New Zealand. Maybe they know this is the last big effort for them. Stander's got to use that ball, picks it off the it's base the and ball. did well. It was awkward away. for CJ Stander. He did really well there, CJ. First man. He's in, steal the ball though. Savea runs into Sexton trying to rip it off him. Best in over the top. He's on his feet. Now off your feet, and Now he's told to leave it. Smith to Barrett. Falling behind. Then the pop, in fact, it was. And what a big hit that was on Jack Goodhue. That's the seventh cap, the outside centre. Being compared in New Zealand to Conrad Smith and the way he reads the game, but it's still very early in his career. Smith to Barrett. Nowhere to go. Irish first time tackles have been immense so far. Savea. Nice feet. Still go. Best puts him down. Omani and over the top. Got to protect his body weight. Omani has a clutch on that ball. He has a grip on that ball. And Peter Omani wins the penalty. Well, that's what he does best. We know his contribution in the lineup, but so many times the arch poacher in on top. Again, crucial moment. Again, another one of those key wins for Ireland as New Zealand look to their bench and turn new front row. We've got substitutions, one, two, three, New Zealand, Thank all you. front row, please. What a monster. What a monster, Peter O'Mahony. Look at uh, Chui Nukiape, looks absolutely knackered, gone off the field. Look at him. Cody right. Taylor doesn't look happy. He's been pummeled by yeah. Ty Furlong for the good 47 o minutes. O Owen Franks going off, one of the most unwanted yeah, records in international rugby. He's over 100 caps, I think 104 today. He's never, Just ever scored a try in international rugby. And that weight continues. Well, he won't be scoring today either. Johnny Sexton, no, He's Berlin. a good player. No, he's a super player. He's a great player. 106 cap today, the Crusaders oh, tight head. And the the ben, obviously, as well. And all black, international. But you just keep Peter Omani, this is Savea getting the breakaway, but look at Omani. Gap, please. Oh. Hold the gap, four. Just oh. got in. Four black. Painted a good picture for the referee. Look at New Zealand trying to shift him. Brody Ritalik coming in. Yeah. Or Sam Whitelock. You can't say it, but I can. Corcon's finest, absolutely brilliant from Peter Omani. There for Sexton, in behind to Aki. They switch the point of attack to the left-hand side. Stockdale, that chip works out. That chip works out. Just look at the work he had to do here. Johnny Sexton takes a late hit from Dane Coles. 
but Stockdale all on his own, chipping behind, got a brilliant bounce, but work, work, work. New Zealand got back. He had the power to get over the line. He did all this himself. Aaron Smith doing everything trying to get back, does make the tackle, but the momentum, the fact that he's six foot three, all of that mattering. And that is the try that Ireland deserved, but they really needed to put away. An incredible piece of individual brilliance. And Jonathan Sexton, who hasn't missed a kick yet, looking to add the conversion. And he'll take a breath. Here, a pin drop as Sexton knocks it over. And with half an hour to play, Ireland lead New Zealand by 16 points to six. Donald Lennon. Well, that is a bit of breathing space as we see it again. Great bounce. He drove on, he willed himself to get over the line. Damien McKenzie, Bowden Barrett, everybody trying to get back, but they just were powerless to stop him. No, we know Hugh, 10 points. Not enough. You He's need nothing more. against New Zealand. A pump from Black. That went forward as well. Disadvantage knock off. Nothing happening for New Zealand at the moment. Smith. Handling mistakes that you do not expect. CJ Stander runs into contact. Advantage is over. And Crotty puts him down. Advantage over, says Wayne Barnes from that knock on. And Ireland still with possession. Ball still in. Marmion Ball surveying still in. his Office options. Ball. And Ringrow standing at first receiver on his near side. Looks like they're going to ready. Still in. Problem for Ireland. Peter Romani has a hip injury. Can run. into contact, and again, first time tackle's been made from Ireland. Reid, into Marmion, and Van der Fleer, who's gone about his business with ruthless officially today, Van der Fleer. A barnstorming start in the first five minutes, and then just going about making his tackles one by one, chopping them down, and again, a handling mistake, and Toy Furlong picks it off the ground. Vitalik smashed out of the way, and it's there for Ring Rose. Drubber kick through from Ring Rose for Keith Earls to chase. Barrett is back there, he's under all sorts of pressure. Barrett into Carney, and Ireland have a right next. This is the best 51 minutes of international rugby we've seen from any Ireland team. Well, it, it is the most sustained pressure that Ireland have ever managed to put on New Zealand. And again, Ireland's it's the stars of the New Zealand side who are being found wanting. Ireland. But Brody Ritalik again losing possession. Peter O'Mahony is in serious trouble. As uh, Kian Healy goes off, that's Jack McGrath. What a shift for Kian Healy. Oh, immense. Well, Kian Healy knows he's only going to get 50 minutes, so he gives every single ounce of energy. What about Tyke Farlong again? Picking up that loose ball once Brody Retallick spilled it. Carried, fended off. Jordy Murphy poised to come in. Yeah, but Peter has had uh, such an influence on the All game. Right. You don't want to be losing players like that. What him. a hit from Rory yeah, Best. Rory Best. Line. Brody Retallick. Line's yours, OK. He's getting it from everyone today. Brilliant hit from Best. Smashes the ball out of his hand. Furlong up in support. Ringrose. Beautiful little dink in behind. Line. And Bob Barrett does everything to try and stay out of touch. But work rate. Rob Carney closing Up the space. Me. Peter Romani ain't going anywhere. I'll tell you what. What a chance this is. 51 minutes gone, Ireland don't win the line out. Comes into New Zealand hands. Dane Cole's first to react and maybe just a... Him stand up. Half oh, second more of composure from Ireland there. And they're going to try and run this from inside. They're all 22. Mackenzie, little chip over the top. Across comes Marmion. Where's this going to bounce? Into the Connacht scrum half hands. And Mackenzie drags him back into the Irish half. Back there is Bundyaki to lend his support. And Jacob Stockdale and Van der Fleer as well. It's from an Irish attack. Back inside their own half here as James Ryan carries towards the halfway line. No, 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 no thanks. Play on, all open play now. No, you both went off your feet. 
New Zealand appealing for the referee up really quickly as well. First touch for Jack McGrath is on in place of Healy. And the loose no. head setting it up for Marmion. Ball wants out. to get play back down inside the New Zealand half. Plenty of height in that kick. The chase not as quick to put pressure on Barry. Did well just to keep his eyes on that ball. There for Aaron Smith. He steadies himself again. Plenty of height on that one. Carney's calling for it. Carney into the air, takes it. Beautiful catch. And hits the ground. He makes it look so easy. There for Stander. Stander trying to wriggle free. Marmion, quick ball. Sexton. Sexton in behind to Bundy Aki. Tackle comes in from Goodhue. Counter up from New Zealand and Dane Coles and almost paid off as well. Ryan. Savea puts him down. Sexton, van der Fleer. Whitelock wrapping those big arms of his on around your feet now. the seven jersey of Josh van der Fleer. Marmion goes to the right, James Ryan juggles with it, but crucially hangs on. Still there for Ireland, ring rose to Aki. Devin Toner to protect the ball. Ireland comfortable going through the phases. Jack McGrath this time. Abandoned by Aaron Smith. Don't go in that, don't go in that. Ryan just lost his feet, but nothing wrong with what New Zealand were doing in defence. Again, Metallic has to get back onside. And Ty Furlong just protecting the ball. Should be there for Marmion. Again, launches one into the air. It's going to drop just to the 22 metre line. Mackenzie loses his head to Carney. Rob Carney in the air. Once again for Ireland, inside New Zealand's 22 they go. Looking for the second try, Sexton has a bit of room, Johnny Sexton. Marmion goes left, Furlong, again. Tackle! First time tackles have to be made, oh, no, you and you see the roll away just in time. No, no. Van der Fleer in penalty. behind the Sexton, ring rose, the miss pass on the outside, meant for Carney. But comes to Keith Earls, little rubber in behind from Earls, has to make the tackle on Mackenzie, and New Zealand have nowhere Touch to go, the ball is blocked down, and Van der Fleer has to get there, he does so. What a handle. And what a tackle from Metallic, absolutely upended him. Stander. Dragged to the ground by Tunga Fassi. Again, it's squirts loose, and Kieran Marmion. All he could do was fire one out to Bundiaki, but he gets back on his feet. Standard to McGrath. Tackle this time from Laulala. 16 cap off the bench, one a scoop off the ground from Marmion. What a bit of skill that was as well, under pressure. Reed this time making the hit. New Zealand forcing Ireland back. Ringrose tries the dummy, needs to hit the ground and needs a bit of support. Stander, making himself available once Not again. Now. Off your feet. Gary on from Sexton. It's going to drop just before the 22. What a kick this is. Tackle from Carney as a penalty. It could be a card, and Carney's injured himself, but it could be a yellow card, depending on how Wayne Barnes viewed the collision. Well, we'll have to have a look at the, at the, uh, the contest in the air. It looked to me as if both were arriving at the same time. This is penalties relentless. Given. Penalties given. Don't need your warning. Don't need you. Don't need you. Just talk. if you want to look at your player, go and talk to your Just player. Just have a look. What a hang time from that kick from Johnny Sexton. It's, it's a penalty. He's in the air. Yeah, I think it's just it's a. a yeah. Rico Yuani is about six foot three. He gets up into the air ahead of Johnny or ahead of Rob Carney. Carney's eyes on the ball the whole yeah. time. No, no, yeah. we, 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 we he lands on the side, it. Donald. We're not yeah. certain it's a card, that's why we're not going card. Okay? No, it's not no, a card, just, just a penalty. Yeah. You, I have seen cards given for that. Definitely nothing more than a yellow, but uh, I think Wayne Barnes has been sensible about it. Riku Yuani, he won the contest to get up in the air first. Carney couldn't pull out at that stage. What a game he's had, Rob. Oh, he's going. been brilliant. Listen, he does okay. the basics so well. The confidence that it imbues in a team. But you know every time that ball that goes in behind you, he just sails into the air, but he makes it look easy. His positional sense is superb. 
he's always in the right place at the right time, and you know that is the yeah, value really of experience. And he's yeah, he's on his feet. Off your feet, you're coming off the board, it's really nice. Yeah, Substitution, 15 black, please. Yeah, um, and Damien's going off, mate. So Damien McKenzie is going off, and Richie Monga's going in, which means that Bowden Barrett don't oh, yeah. go to fall back. Yeah, and do you know what? That's going to create a different type of uh, an attacking threat. Uh, Richie Mwanga yeah, has had a very a good like season for the Crusaders. Bowden Barrett. But if you're wrong side, I agree. Creates I agree. most of his uh, problems yeah, from broken play. He's so fast. Watch back on. So a different dynamic here. And uh, Steve Hansen, I think it's a recognition, Hugh, that he has to try something different. Hey, on, mate. Just give you a gap. Penny, for your thoughts, Steve. Well, he looks worried, doesn't he? He knows whatever happens, he's been in one hell of a game. So Coles to throw. throw over the top. That was planned, though. It's really well executed as well. Yoani trying to go through, and a pop in slide to Smith. That is lost four. It went forward. The offload didn't quite work Second out. Man a man brilliant man run man by the winger, Donald, but it's just, just across not the floor. happening for New Zealand. No, it isn't. But offload that was a pre-pad play. Second brilliant throw from uh, Cody Taylor, right over the top. And uh, Riku Yuani was positioned there, gets in behind the first line of defence. Oh, so close. They're so brilliant at those offloads, but as you say, nothing sticking. But a lot of that is a consequence of the pressure that Ireland are putting okay, on the player sure in the okay. tackle. James Ryan back right. to his feet. Ian okay, Henderson then. warming up on the sideline as well. Yep, Jordan Armour thought Lost he might be coming in when Rob Carney was down. He's back, and so too Jordy Murphy, Peter Manny. Still out there. There's a yeah. few new but faces. Ireland have a serious, Ireland have serious quality on the bench, okay. though, Hugh. Just, you uh, know, just and uh, if Ian Henderson has to come in, he certainly won't let this side down. Oh. Disappointed not to start, I'm sure. But now we can see why Devon Toner was straight back in for this team. He's transformed the line out today. Nine line outs won for Ireland, none Trout. of them lost. Bye. Set. Let's go. Let's see what the new front row for New Zealand can do. Marmion told to get on with the feed. Stay, stay quite close, we'll back pass. Perfect. Rock solid from Ireland. Exactly what Sexton and Marmion want here. Ring rows. What can they do? Miss pass on the outside to Stockdale. Was that forward? Oh, didn't look it from up here. We're slightly off centre in terms of the angle here, but it yeah. certainly didn't seem. We'd love to see the replay of it. Well, I tell you, the interesting thing for me Bernsey, number nine, black, is uh, please, no. nine. Oh, TJ nine Perinara is coming in. He led a different threat, probably more spark here on the breakdown than uh, Aaron Smith. But look here, I think Stockdale had the beating. Is, is that, that forward? forward? It doesn't look yeah, forward. Nine, to me. Didn't look forward initially. It doesn't look forward. No. Aaron Smith goes off, and TJ oh, Perinara, his 54th cap for 26 rounds. Hurricane scrum half is in. Keep Again, another position space. that could have gone either way. Yeah, arguably, I think uh, TJ Perinara has had the better season throughout the course of the Rugby Championship. Uh, Aaron Smith not quite firing in the manner that he has in the past, and this guy is a live wire. Patience, Patience and space. Crouch. Yeah. Bind. Set. We're approaching the final quarter, and if it bears repeating, 23 of New Zealand's 68 tries in 2018 okay, have come you. in the last 20 Close minutes. Down, Ireland, down, you'll please. be all too aware of that. Better scrum by the visitors. Ball from the back from Reid. First touch from Piranara. It'll dink through. Stockdale had to take that, but Barrett was breathing down his neck. Did really well, Stockdale under huge pressure. And then New Zealand okay, told to run away. Slow ball. It's slow ball. Just hold, just half a step, please. Just half a step. Ireland appealing for a penalty there. It was no, Bowden Barrett, who was just still on the wrong side, but he did I'll make an effort what. to move, yeah. according to No, Wayne when Vines. he lifts it. Yes. Thanks, fellas. And Kieran Marmion has played well. Some of his kicking has relieved a lot of pressure. Not easy when you have to fill the boots of Conor okay, Murray, but I think he's green. done really well as well today. Substitution Ireland, please. Yeah. What's Num up? Number, just, um, number well, nine. just as you say, Donald, it's uh, Luke McGrath who's going to um, come in fresh legs in the last nine. 20 minutes. So two new scrum halves onto the pitch, but yeah, with Barrett, you see. I just, here comes Luke McGrath. As is, it doesn't surprise me that Joe no, is no, making no, the, uh, the change, but I think Kieran Marmion, he's done everything that he's been asked to do, and quite rightly is getting an outstanding reception from the crowd going off. 9 8 loss for New Zealand. Kieran Reid couldn't hold it. Off your the first touch now. for Luke McGrath is going to be to feed 
Josh van der Freyer, CJ Stander first and then van der Fleer. Here's Sexton now. Ireland running it from just on their own 22. Bundy Aki. Aki. Tony with the ball. Ardy Savay in on top of him. Luke McGrath wrestling the ball. They've got to let go of it surely. And they just about do in time. To satisfy Wayne Barnes. Sexton calling for it on the right hand side. And he gets it as well. Ring rose. No room to move. And tackled well by his opposite number. Good hit from Goodhue. McGrath bundles his way towards the halfway line. Needed a bit of help as well. First half. Stolen by Savea, and this is dangerous now. Savea chips it through, back goes Rob Kearney. Going to have to get there first, the ball's going to go just over the line. 22-metre 22. 22 dropout. Really good steal by the New Zealand open side, but just too much on the kick. Yeah, it was, but I tell you, Johnny Sexton ran a brilliant line coming back. He just forced uh, Savea to have to run around him. And that extra yeah, no yard was the difference between I'm maybe sure getting there ahead of Rob Kearney. Big carry here again from Jack McGrath, but crucially he gets a little bit isolated. Here we are. And, Good view uh, with the steal. Yeah, was it? great, great turnover. Look at the kick here, but uh, Johnny Sexton just gets a little bit of a nudge Johnny there. Run, everyone. But Rob Carney was always going to win it, I think, to be fair. Yeah. Anton Leonard Brown getting ready to come in as well. What a take, and Devon Toner. There for McGrath, James Ryan. Another carry, this time straight into Scott Barrett, who puts him backwards in the tackle. Really good hit by Scotty Barrett, and therefore Sexton. Just hold, just hold. Yep. Out of the Irish half and down the throat of Bowden Barrett. Bit of room for him to run this one back. Tommy switch, and off he goes. We know how quick he is, ball on the outside, and across comes Aki. This is what New Zealand love, the broken field running. Ben Smith this time. Jack McGrath. Bundled out of the way as he went in over that ball. Keeping possession now. New Zealand get the hand away to Savea. That's Goodhue outside him. Goodhue, little step. Beautiful step from Goodhue. New Zealand finding the rhythm with ball in hand. Perinara. Moonga. Back with the scrum half. Queuing up on the right hand side. Barr with a little grubber kick through. But queuing up here. Can Stockdale get there? Oh, what a take from Peter Armani. A certain try saver. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. But New Zealand tails are up. They're coming into their own now. They had to have a permanent patch at some stage. Bundy Aki looking out for strength. Ireland now, game management absolutely crucial in this period of the game. Ty Furlong breathing really heavily in behind as McGrath finds a safe touch. What about yeah, that? Really good touch there from start, Luke McGrath. But again, again. What a cover tackle Number there 12, from uh, Peter Romani on the work rate to get out wide. We saw he could barely walk about 20 minutes ago. Look at his work rate and getting back, diving on the ball. Brilliant anticipation. Well, please, Not only that, four, but he Ireland, also please. has the wherewithal to present it properly and enable Ireland to clear their line. Devin Ian Toner. Henderson in and the roar for Devon Toner. Listen to this. Quite rightly. That's the accolades that he deserves, but he's put in a massive shift today. Over to you, Ian Henderson. 20 minutes of your finest, please. You know it's in the locker there somewhere. Anton Leonard Brown carries it into contact. Piranara, all blacks now, sensing perhaps for the first time in this game. Well, it's the first time they've had any uh, sense of, of continued possession. Sexton goes in, doesn't quite get the wrap around though, and he bounces off the tackle. Next one, Johnny, shot. Johnny, Johnny. Yeah. Well, we best just having a word with Johnny Sexton there, telling him to keep those tackles down. Carry this time from Tunga Fassi. The Blues loose head. There from Onga. Tackled by Van der Fleer and Perinara. Barrett, Barrett, almost getting away. New Zealand have just increased the tempo here. Ioanni. Two to bring him down. Pondiaki wraps him around the ankles there. Once again for New Zealand, hammering away now. Barrett switching the midfield. Savea, Irish defence has been immaculate so far. They're going to need to be as well for the next 18 minutes or so. New Zealand now trying to go wide this time. Mawonga hands it to Ben Smith in the outside. Opportunity for good Hugh. Again the tackle from McGrath. Piranara again. 
Tonga Fassi. Look at that, Omani in over the ball. Has Omani got his hands on it? Another turnover by Peter Omani. He's having the game of his life over the ball. So look at the all in crucial positions. And look at him. He's absolutely knackered. That's two turnovers, both in that little patch of grass. And that's what you call leading by example. Watch Johnny Sexton, he looked as if he was out of it a couple of minutes ago. I hope it's a cramp. But uh, another uh, uh, yeah, substitution. It is a cramp. It's going to take 23 players to win this game. Ten green. Joey yeah, Carberry's coming on, in. Sends on the floor, he'll go off with a physio. Hold on, Bergie, hold on. Oh, hold on. The pain etched across Watch the face of technique. Peter Armani. Look, look at him. He bided his moment, waited. He didn't want to be involved in the tackle. Then latched on straight away. Henderson, Stander, best. OK, they're saying they need to sub six. The work rate of the, of the, of the Irish team is just inspirational. Heroic. OK. It is... Uh, yeah, they're going to have to... Jordy Murphy definitely coming off. Yes, are coming on, minutes. I should say. Andy Porter Andrew as well, Porter. Again, ready to come in. Here comes Jordy Murphy, who scored a try in Chicago against New Zealand and then had to go off with an injury. Up to Ulster at the end of last season. And Peter Armani, well, listen to this. With the crowd are standing on their feet. Every person in a green jersey, and I suspect anyone who has a black one as well, they're rising to the example that this man has given here today. He's given everything he has. And Jordy Murphy has to take that mantle now and finish it out. Peter Manny goes off to end his 50-second cap. Will it be a winning cap? That's Johnny Sexton into the corner. Here, He's still on the pitch, and Andrew Porter yet to come on as well. Hold that cap! Fields of Athenoy ringing around the Aviva Stadium. 17 minutes to play. 10 points the gap. First take for the substitute Jordy Murphy for Ireland. Ireland setting the ball as well. McGrath launches one high in the air. Look at the height on that ball. Got to be claimed. It is claimed and off they go. Smith. Tackle. Pernara. Advantage. And Ireland giving off the penalty. Bundy Aki. In from the side. The two centres. Melt. Well, do you know what? A I, think, vulnerability. I think it's one of those New Zealand type penalties. Happy to give it away because if New Zealand were able to sweep that ball away, Ireland were in trouble. I mean, they just launched themselves into the rock trying to clear out the ball. But uh, New Zealand are coming. You can sense That's it. Every minute, minute they're two. getting stronger. Substitutions, please, Bouncy again. One Number stop. Two Ireland's record three against three New Zealand. Three one three win three from 30 Island, games. 28 for New Zealand. One draw. One Irish victory in Chicago. New Zealand Thank unbeaten you. in the last 15 tests in Dublin. Well, I tell you, you. Whoever wins today will have deserved the win. There'll be no excuses. There's no ambush. It is two teams giving everything they have. And uh, we've 16 minutes. Look at Furlong going on, the pain on his face. He's had a fantastic game. Ball off the top of the line out to use. Moonga. Offload to Leonard Brown. Up the middle he goes. Savea to act as scrum half. And again, good Hugh takes it. Cronin and Porter in for Ireland. Fresh legs in the front row. Cronin having to make the tackle. Barrett don't want to give him an inch of space. Barrett tries the offload. Rob Carney steals it away. New Zealand are getting closer, but Ireland still not relenting. Still in. I'll show you, I'll show you when it's out. Pull out. McGrath happy to find touch. Well, that's another great clearance from Luke McGrath. Very hard to come into a game, get up to the pace. Again, Rob Kearney, just like a goalkeeper back there. Bowden Barrett is lethal. And uh, Kearney just got himself in the way. I mean, he uses ex experience to get into all the right positions. Stolen by Henderson, and the offload as well to McGrath and to Cronin. What a moment. Off the foot. Bundyaki, Gary Ringrose, two-handed carry. Lovely offload again, and Aki couldn't hold the ball. He dropped it. Crucial that Ireland try and maintain as much That's possession as possible. New and New Zealand will have a scrum. Well, it's no surprise that the mistakes are coming in now because both sets of players have given everything. But look here, complete uh, misunderstanding in yeah. what was supposed to happen. Just, he's right on top of our scrum now. What, what, is he right? Ian Henderson okay. couldn't believe his What's luck. Up, please? Yeah, Big hit there from no, Anton Leonard-Brown. 
In fairness to Bundy and Keach, is the actual uh, the hit coming in from Kieran Reid. Johnny Sexton is under pressure. Joey Cabri is his top off. Jordan Larmer is his top off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we got that one now. Rob Kearney going off. It's another standing ovation. I don't envy having to pick a man oh, in the match, Donald. You've got to make a case for every single player on that pitch. It's, it's unbelievable. I've already got out of the match at the moment. Let's win this match. Ireland yeah, are this in this brilliant position. Yeah. So a lost forward. Jordan Larmer comes in. Rob Kearney goes off. OK, let's go, please. 14 minutes on the clock. Let's go, let's right. go. 10 points to go. OK, yeah, we're good. OK, lots of new faces. Let's get that balance and space. Let's go, Ford. Balance. In the back of your mind, you, you think of those 17-point turnarounds that New Zealand have done in the last 12 months against Australia, against South Africa. 15 points against England last week. You just can't Five. take your eye off them. Set. Stay nice and close. Or back foot. Back foot. New Zealand lock out the scrum. McGrath calling the defensive line. I tackle anyone. Brian Barnes asking is it officials if they spot anything high. Play on. Is the call? Advantage, penalty, high tackle. It was high. A little bit of a late call. Advantage, but... penalties over there. We'll come back if necessary. Give me that mark, Advantage please. Advantage being played. Matthew. Rose just hanging on to the boot of Offa Jung Alfasi. Falling behind from Reed, and then Goodhue just to lay the pass slightly to Barrett again. They have numbers. Numbers on that right hand side. Sexton had to come through, and the oh. pass needed to go. Was that deliberate? No, 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 no. The tackle, nothing, nothing more. No advantage, high tackle. In front of me. Well, it's a two score game here. What did New Zealand do? Yeah, but look, is there an incident there? No. Johnny Sexton. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's he's just. Here, Raising his arms as the relayed hit. Kick a goal. I tell you, Jacob Stockton had to make a decision there. I think he Kieran. might have been lucky that the Kieran earlier goal. penalty was there because he may have knocked down that ball. But if it's a deliberate knock. Absolutely. Just, just looking at it again here. That's the tackle that from is, section. Well, He's got to lower his tackle yeah, technique. That is height. That is a penalty. Not in dispute. You got him there. Thanks. You just have a look here. The oh, last no, hit that no. Johnny Sexton put in, Donald. Yeah. Um, Rory Best said to him after, as Wayne Barnes said, Johnny, lower your tackles. And Rory said to Johnny Sexton, just get lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that occasion, he didn't, and that was yeah. the result. And to be fair to Jacob Stockdale, he made a good tackle. It wasn't a slap. Really nice scrum now, really nice scrum. I just thought that one where you both went the floor, I wasn't quite sure if you'd gone out first of all, but you reckon, yeah. I see it. He's changed now, so... It's a massive kick. Put seven points between the teams. Flags go up. We have a one-score game. Just take you back to that uh, third and final test in the Lions in New Zealand last year. That ended in a draw. And it was one of the greatest anti-climax of all time. Nobody knew what to do. But right now, Ireland, you feel they just What's need to get please? another score. They need to try and get a little bit of territory, Hugh. They've spent the last 20 minutes uh, embedded in their own half of the field. It was inevitable okay, that New Zealand would on. fight back. Ireland now night need to try and re-establish some control of territory. Sexton goes deep into the 22. Then a Brown. Tackle by Sean Cronin. Stops him in his tracks and again. Perinara just pulling the strings outside him. Different dynamic to Aaron Smith and a lot more vocal. TJ Paranara, leader of the hack, as you saw at the start of the game. And here he is, steady himself. And behind the ball. Back to Moonga. Just hold forwards, just hold. We're going to find touch in Ireland, I'm sure, yeah. will eat up every single second they can. Yeah, but well, that's OK. I mean, the crazy thing, Hugh, Ireland had seven out of seven line-outs in the opening half. This is only their third okay, okay. line-out of the second half, time. which is an indication okay, of New Zealand play. controlling Let's the... Possession, not kicking to touch because they know the quality of the Irish lineout. No, Devin Toner is off at this stage. Sean Cronin's first delivery. Henderson had a brilliant steal on New Zealand lineout last time out, but Cronin's got to hit the man here. 
New Zealand get up, and it's Whitelock who takes it. Is he in the air there, anyone? Oh, it's actually no longer from the end side. Again, you see them looking to run from deep, and Ioanni one on one here. Tackle has to be made. Jordan Larmer goes round the ankles and hangs on. Perinara, full slow coming back again. A contest forward. Look at CJ Stander holding him up. The strength of Stander. Can he keep him holding up? Just gets the ground. It should be back in the New Zealand side. They haven't, they've lost it. CJ Stander, brilliant. Well, that was outstanding again from Stander. The Irish back row. I didn't see it. If it was, it wasn't clear. I'm sorry if I missed it. Stander really, he put his body on the line because he knew the hits were going to come in. Good first score, mate. Problem here, Peter Romani is off, and he would have been the target there. Jordy Murphy just not quite getting up, and uh, Whitelock getting in front of him. But look at Stander here, powering the legs to get in underneath. Stay upright, hold the ball up, watch the hits coming in from New Zealand. Bang. He was willing to take that hit Patience. to hold it up. Patience. Left, 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 left. Go left. Move. Patience. Crouch. Bind. Set. The strike from Sean Cronin. Scrum wheeling around 90 degrees, the ball goes loose and McGrath to Sexton. An attacking scrum. Sexton in behind, missed pass on the outside, is a good one. To Stockdale, and off he goes! Stockdale, kick over the top, lost his feet. As he tripped. Play on. Was he tripped? 22. 22 minute drop by the crowd of Furious on the far side. Uh, Jacob Stockdale has his hands up. I'd like to see it again. I don't know, was it a tap tackle after he had kicked the ball? Well, the TMO can't come in in these situations, as we no. know. I can't hear. Well, he's talking to Barnes, no, no, I think. I totally agree. He kicked the ball and he tapped his ankles. He tapped his ankles, but did he do it after he kicked the ball? Keith Earls takes it. Here's Jordy Murphy. Into contact, put down by Tunga Fassi. Andrew Porter runs into good Hugh. Makes about half a metre. There for McGrath. Still in. Bowden Barrett looks like he's steadying himself to receive this one. He's right underneath it. Pressure from Earls. Barrett gets high and lovely hands and composure to take that ball out of the sky. Off your feet now. There for Perna. Boonga. We're going to run this ball. Kieran Reid tackled and tackled really well by Ian Henderson. Contest with the ball is a fair one. Henderson back on his feet and picks him up off the Tackle ground. He didn't have to release on it. Ball should be there for Ben Smith to use. Back to his captain and Reed into contact. Perinara. Bondiaki with the hit. Lelala with the carry. Seven minutes to play. Seven points to gap. Is that offside? No referee says play off. Ball still in. Looking to slightly Satellite. ahead of the ball carry there. And again, a little bit of indecision for Perinara. Did well just to get through and over the gain line and keep the momentum for New Zealand going forward. No. Nope. Slower ball this time. Henderson wraps him around. Sean Cronin the tackle has to roll away. Perinara once more. Boonga, ball in behind to Barrett. No real options for him to go. And then Reed drops it again. And the pressure from Stockdale on Smith. Trying to force him into touch with Sexton. That is brilliant. Look what it means. To Jonathan Sexton. And to substitution. And the reaction from the crowd. Stockdale again putting the pressure on. Johnny Sexton. He had cramp about five minutes ago. Somehow Seven. got back into the game. Seven. Pressure. Seven. Nobody. Kim Reed Seven. making mistakes that you never see. Stockdale pressure on Ben Smith. Looks as if he's getting away. Johnny Sexton. Look at that. They just want to check if um, your fall's OK before they make their decision. They haven't given New Zealand an inch. Right from the kickoff, yes, please, it's been uh, relentless. You know, teams, they, in the past, they've put pressure on New Zealand, but they haven't always been able to sustain it. Ireland have been immaculate from that point of view. Hold on, please. Right, up we come, up we come. On you. Don't go down the middle, please. Don't go down the middle. On comes Matt Todd, his 17th cap okay. for New Zealand. All set, fellas. Sean Cronin. Right. Who's in? Ireland One, two, have three, to win four, this line out, Donald. Two metres, two metres, please. Two metres. Watch on.
Uh, they've lost it again. It's falling apart at the lineup. I think that was Scott Barrett that time. Can we patch Devon Toner up and get him back on the pitch? Because Touch. it just hasn't Clear happened. Touch. It's himself and a man he went off. They're going to have another go here. Yeah. It's a good stealing ball, though. It came off an Irish hand, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, that's the problem for Ireland at Give the moment. Gap. Peter O'Mahony and Devon Toner are their go to guys from a lineup perspective. All of a sudden, now, you see New Zealand have three with Whitelock, Barrett, Ireland, Ireland. Brody Retallick, even though Ireland and New Zealand have cut the line here. Dane Coles to throw, go to the front, clean ball for New Zealand, their line out, no problems whatsoever. Piranara again, they've got to get out away from their own try line here in New Zealand, and that's what Moonga does, he's gone into touch, and again they're backing themselves to disrupt Ireland. Stockdale, I'm sure, happy to leave that one go. We have five minutes line. to play. Yeah, but Ireland have to get this line out right. That's you, Mark, my friend. Two opportunities to hold on to the ball, but Does they haven't space? been able to win it. Just look yeah. here. Five minutes. Five minutes, Challenge in the air. OK, please. It's Brody Retallick up at the front, in front of Ian Henderson. You can see Henderson, James Ryan having a discussion. Composure uh, needed here. Yeah. Metallic stole three against England. He got up again last time perfectly. He seems to be able to read whatever the Ireland call is at the moment. Henderson, that's better. No Ireland have it. Gutsy that's call to go for Henderson again. Ireland set them all. On they go. Only green on the ground. Green. Only green. Green to floor. Clock's kick high, it's going to drop just outside the 22, fair contact, did it go forward? I think it did go down. forward, it vanished to New Zealand. And Ireland have to cover out wide, because New Zealand have plenty yes, of numbers. Yes, Not now! And they're going to run everything now, little ball over the top from Pernara, advantage. Not there over, got to go knock back on. for that scrum. First one, two knock on. Well, that's all right. The scrum, scrum can New take Zealand up board. to a minute. If I was Ireland, I'd be taking Always my time. Take your time scrum getting your set. You're playing against the clock. You've got to keep the pressure on. You've got to keep New Zealand pinned back here. Look at Joe Schmidt. I don't know who he's talking to. I don't think we all know what he's saying. One stop, one stop. Yeah, what's his stop? Watch I can't make a hook or scrummage. Wayne Barnes and... Sean Cronin getting back to his feet here. TJ Paranara. Looking for inspiration from somewhere. OK, we'll have ten green, Barnesy substitution, please. Looks like Joey Carby's getting ready to come in, so Jonathan Sexton will go off. Stop. What a massive three and a half minutes for Joey Carberry, born in New Zealand. From Charles Finest, now down and firmly ensconced with Munster. He's got to see this one out, Donald. Yeah, he has, but he made his debut against New Zealand two years ago. First time on the field, again the crowd rise to their feet. And rightly so, because Sexton has uh, given every ounce of energy. This has been an incredible test Watch match. On. Three and a half minutes to play. Crouch. You can cut the tension with the knife here. Oh. Set. Stay close or stay back. Of feet. New Zealand back standing very flat. Apart from Bowden Barrett, he's deepest of all at fullback. Where's this going to go? Chaka comes in. Keith Earls puts him down. And again, the ball on the outside. Jordan Armour comes through. And Ioanni can only take the tackle. Again, the clean out from New Zealand. No, no, they are no, still fighting for lost, this game. Yeah, no. Ireland are down the man. No, Keith Earls is back on his feet. But no, he's hurt, no, it's in. Ball in behind. Richie Moonga looking for a half gap. None there. Tackle Ring Rose and, and Luke McGrath, in fact, it was who put him down. Perinara goes right. Power trying to force his way through. Almost underneath the tackle. No joy. Metallic. Straight into Murphy. Another carry, this time Scott Barrett. Pass it in at Brown. Flat, but OK, says referee Wayne Barnes. Perinara once more. This time Jonga Fassi. 
Irish defence holding and holding well at the moment. From the Aki, just cutting up the outside pass. Now they're going to turn in behind. Jordan Larmer, dangerous bounce of the ball for Larmer. Did well to take that. My heart was in my mouth. I thought it was going to miss it. Give me a clock check. Ian Henderson this time. Okay, two minutes. Thank you. The effort from the Irish players. It's just been relentless from start to finish. The ball's available. Inside the final two minutes. New Zealand with three penalties on the board. Ireland with three and the try from Jacob Stockdale that separates the team. Off feet now. Make sure we arrive up. There Make for Luke sure McGrath. Ireland, up. if they can just hold on to possession. If you can't afford to give away a penalty, then give it away field position. Ireland need to be so careful here. Need to get their technique right. McGrath right. setting himself for the box kick. Needs chasers. Wayne Barnes telling Ireland to hold it. Contest with Stockdale doesn't want to give away a penalty. Makes the tackle. And now Ireland have to line out. New Zealand again deep. And on this near side, Anton Lennon Brown is calling for it. Almost unmarked on his own. Keith Earls has a little look over his right hand shoulder and spots him. I we have one minute left to play. We'll stay here. Thank you. The last ten minutes have seemed like an hour, Donald Lennon. Uh, well, we've seen New Zealand score at the death so many times, but Ireland are aware of that. Can Ireland hold them out? They're going to run this ball. Rico Ioanni almost at the halfway line. Again, the tackle goes in. This time it's the captain, Kieran Reid. Metallic. Drops his frame into contact, over the halfway line. New Zealand fighting all the way to the last whistle. Numbers on the right-hand side, if they get this one from Ben Smith. Brilliant hit by Carberry to wrap him around the ankles. 20 seconds to play at the Aviva Stadium. Barrett. Leonard Brown, James Ten, Ryan puts him down. Nine, eight, Is there one more twist in this game? Six. The ball over the top on the outside. Chance for Ben Smith. One three, on one. Two, 80 one. minutes are gone. Is yours, no room for error for New Zealand. So Metallic. Scrapping and fighting New Zealand to the very end. Ireland tackling for their lives here. Barrett, this pass to Reed. Goes to ground. this time one mistake and it's all over Barrett, no room to move, comes back inside skips away from the first hit of Jack McGrath ball in the deck still there for New Zealand 16th phase coming up the drop, that's dropped, it's over the final whistle sounds Chicago is banished to the memory and Ireland have been for the first time ever, Donald Lennon. Yeah, and there was no ambush here today. This was two teams going at each other, full tilt, and Ireland were better. They came out on top, they bossed the game from start to finish. They had that period when they had to absorb pressure, pressure. They did that, they stood up, and they, I've never seen the Aviva alive like this. Unbelievable. Peter Omani, your man of the match. Well, I tell you, I'd love to throw every name into the plane or into the, a bucket. All Irish names pull one out because each and every one was brilliant. But on the basis of his performance, putting his, man, his body on the back, my Guinness Series man of the match is Peter Omani. Rory Best, what a performance. The line out, superb. Devin Toner, CJ Stander, Jonathan Sexton. The try score, Jacob Stockdale, Rob Carney immense at the back, the safest pair of hands in the Irish game right now. Two am